Hey everyone, this is uh, the first post-completion trailer update video. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys what I've done with the audio section of the trailer, the audio booth, because uh, it's gotten, gotten a couple of significant upgrades. Uh, things that I've been planning and just hadn't uh, gotten around to doing up until recently. So couldn't have done it in the first round. The uh, biggest problem I had with my previous audio setup was that I could only bring about four channels of audio in. Uh, over SDI, and that was about the only way I had to, to get audio into the trailer, short of running nice long, long analog XLR cables. And so I've been looking for a solution for that. I picked out the Yamaha TF3, and you guys have seen me mention that here on, the, on this channel, even do a quick demo of it. But I've gotten the other companion pieces now. Uh, so that includes the Dante interface card for the mixer itself, as well as the Dante based stage box. So those not familiar with Dante, it's basically a way of doing high quality audio over uh, Ethernet networks. And it doesn't require any sort of special networking gear in order to make it work. And so that basically means I can run audio over my fiber cable, the same fiber cable that I use for doing internet uh, and connections to my my camera, IP cameras and some other things. So anyway, with that said, just kind of give you guys a little bit of a tour. So wander around here back into the audio booth. So there's that Yamaha TF3 mixer, and I've got some music from the YouTube audio library playing right now, so, so there'll be something there. But uh, um, So you come up into the menu here. This, I've got this set for channel one, and I basically told it the source for channel one is uh, the, the slot. And what that means is audio is coming from Dante instead of coming from either a local XLR or USB connection. So. Basically, what happens from there is uh, that there's a the interface card on the back of the mixer goes straight into my network, and on my network switch, the ports that I have in orange here are on their own virtual LAN, so they're separate from everything else. But they go out uh, over fiber on a trunk cable, and that's what this connection right here is. This is a fiber connection. This is a bi-directional, so it only requires one strand. But that runs to, and this is my breakout box here. So fiber from the trailer comes in here in the trunk. And then from there, it's actually broken out into its individual virtual LANs again. So that one trunk cable carries traffic from, I think it's six different virtual LANs right now, although there isn't really a, a limit. Uh, so one of, my, one of my virtual LANs there is audio, audio one. And so from there, I've got Ethernet connection going into the back of this Yamaha. This is a TIO 1608D interface box, and that's just an Ethernet connection. And has 16 inputs, and those inputs are basically the same as the ones on the TF3. So each one can accommodate either a mic or a line level. They've got a huge uh, amount of gain that you can apply. Uh, so it, it doesn't even, these mixers don't, and whatnot don't even have a switch to select between line and mic. You just turn up the gain for whatever level your source happens to be. And then there are eight audio outputs on XLRs. So what I've got going on right now is I've got a microphone plugged into channel one, and that's what was going into the mixer. I showed you that, guys, I showed you that a minute ago. And then channels seven and eight here come from the main stereo left and right outputs of the mixer, and that's all freely routable. So a piece of software from Audinate, which makes all the Dante stuff that allows you to reassign channels. So what I have is this microphone goes into the stage box, which goes over the ethernet to the fiber, to the mixer, gets mixed in with other sources. And if I talk in the microphone, you can See the level meter coming up there a little bit. Uh, and then it's mixed inside the mixer and then sent back out via Dante over the same fiber cable and then into the ethernet on the back of the uh, stage box there and then out the audio outputs. And if I, if I get close here, you might be able to hear me talking through the, through the uh, sound system there. Um, so it works really well, and surprisingly, there's 
basically no perceptible delay. So the way I've got, is with Dante, you can actually configure the amount of latency. And I've got, I've got mine presently configured for 0.25 milliseconds of delay. And so even with the bi-directional bi trip, uh, the total delay is probably in the neighborhood of about one millisecond, which is not really perceivable to most people. So anyway, this is great because now I can send and receive audio uh, over the same fiber cable that I'm already using. So I didn't have to add any additional strands or anything like that. Uh, it's pretty cool technology. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, that there is more expandability. I'm not limited to just one of these stage boxes. I can do, th I can do three um, if I need to control them. Uh, Dante itself doesn't necessarily have a limit on how many channels you can use. And uh, because Dante actually all uses the same routing software, I can bring other Dante type items, not Dante supported items into the mix, no pun intended, uh, with, without necessarily having a limit on how many channels I can, I can deal with. Uh, there are, and there are some practical limits, but nothing that I'm ever going to encounter. Uh, the free routing allows me to uh, send any signal I want from anywhere to anywhere else. I'm going to be incorporating my intercom into the Dante network here in the trailer so that intercom audio and IFB and whatnot can all go over that same fiber connection. And uh, if I happen to work in a facility that has Dante, it's, it, all I have to do to plug in uh, to their system is run an Ethernet cable and plug it in. And because that's a separate LAN on my, in my trailer, I don't have to worry about any of my actual network traffic going out onto their network and vice versa. So it's only audio that gets passed back and forth. So anyway, so if you, have, you guys have any questions about the whole Dante setup or this mixer or the stage box, um, please leave those in the comments down below. And thanks, for, thanks again for watching and have a fantastic day.